Welcome to Mech Gaming ZX Roulette. Hi guys and welcome back to another Mech Gaming video where we play CEX Roulette. This is the second episode of this new series. I'll leave a link in the description box for this first series, but basically how we play is we purchase some second hand retro games off the CEX website and we find out what condition they come in, they come with manuals and all that good stuff. But in the first episode I explain it in a little bit more detail. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi guys and welcome back. These are my four choices for this week's roulette. The first one is Jurassic Park on the PlayStation 2. Operation Genesis, a game that I've wanted for a while. Let's see what condition it comes in. Second choice, when I can get it up here. There you go. Abe's Odyssey on the PlayStation 1. Notoriously well known for CX for crack cases and missing manuals. And unfortunately this game comes in two label variances of the black label. And I want the one in the picture. Thirdly is one of two Mega Drive games. One being Shinobi. Again, Mega Drive games are notoriously missing manuals and crack cases and general grime in general. Let's see how it turns up. And fourthly and finally is Road Rash. Again, missing manuals and all that jazz is prone for CX. So let's see how we get on. Hi guys and welcome back. They have arrived, they are here. They came in two separate parcels. One I believe has just got one Mega Drive game. And the other one I believe has got the others. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's open this one up. This is one of the Mega Drive games, I'm not too sure. And to be honest, I can't remember which one I like. I think I was Shinobi and Rorash. Okay. Let's get this out of screen. Let's move that out of the way so you don't see my address and all that good stuff. Uh, again, doesn't say where it's from. Just since it's from Watford, which is I've been told in the previous video. That's where the head office is. Interesting fact, I believe Watford is one of the first shots, along with Harrow, of the franchise, or the, the, the chain. Again, fairly well packed. Oh, fuck's sake. Sorry for swearing. But, as you can see, look at the state of this. Got no tab on the front. It's battered. It's going back. I'm not being funny. But... This is not fucking good enough. For a collector, and let's face it, whoever's gonna buy these games are gonna be collectors. So why in the hell would you class this? Granted it's got this damn manual. Yeah, damn manual with it. But why the hell would I have that on the shelf with that mark there like that? This is going back. I'm not happy with the condition of it. It is battered, look, it doesn't even shut properly, look. That's pissed me. <laughs> I thought in this series it might piss me off a little bit occasionally. Um, with the condition of some of the games sent out, but as of to date, it hasn't done. But this has really peed me off. This is going back. To the CEX local. I'm going to take that back with my receipt and say to him, I am not happy with the condition that's came in with. That should be discounted. And it just says here, Road Rash boxed. I don't know if that's happened in transit, but this definitely didn't happen in transit, and nor did this. So that is going to go back to them. And I'm going to order another one, possibly on our next video. Well, I'm not happy with that at all. That's great. That's fantastic. So, that's a good start to the video, to this part of the video. Okay. Let's open this one up. Okay. This get. Sorry about that. Brief interruption. Okay. There is no receipt for this. There's nothing. 
So if I wanted to take them back, I don't think I could. So the first one is Jurassic Park Genesis. Great. Disc is loose. Look at that. Can you see that? It's been cleaned to buggery. And it's still got all the stuff all over it. Fantastic. So it hasn't got manual, which is always a great start. Overall, it's, all, it's not too bad, to be fair. It's not too bad, but no manual. So incomplete CAX, not standard condition. Okay. Yes, that's not too bad of quality. I'm happy with the outside of Shinobi. It feels weighty, so it feels like it's got its manual. It has, and it's in pristine condition. Look at that, check that out. Label is in great nick. And the, amazing enough, that is in a remarkable condition. So I'm happy with that. So this is what I'm saying by Russian, oh, by roulette in general, is you don't know what you're gonna get. You're either gonna get a road rush game that is completely battered and for a collector that is not good enough. That should be discounted. And a Shinobi game that's in fairly mint condition, which I'm more than happy with. Okay, so this is the big one. This is the one where I said to you in the previous clip, it comes in two types of black label. One is like a classic edition, and one is the full cover version. If you know this game, you'll know which one I'm talking about. I want the full cover version. And it's the classic edition. Okay, it depends on the condition of the actual case, so whether I keep it or not. And I knew going into this that I was taking a risk going of this. The best of. Look at that. They can, they don't, you know what? I don't understand CX. They take in stuff and they don't even make any effort to clean the outer case. Obviously, this is in great condition. But I'm not too happy about that value series. Oh, it's not the one I wanted. The label is kind of in embedded into it, but there is no receipt. I probably have a receipt on my email, but can I be bothered to go through all that? Can I be bothered? I think I'll just leave it. I need the game, I enjoy playing it, so does it really matter? Does it really affect the price? Maybe a couple of quid, but not too many. So Overall opinion, <laughs> Row Rush is going back. Simple fact is the case is buggered. It's not so much the internal, the, 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 the cartridge itself, and I can I can live with the actual manual, but the actual like it's been water damaged or something. I'm just not happy with that at all. It's like a sticky label. Someone's put a sticky label in the inside of the actual game. That's been bashed in, so not happy with that. So that is gonna go back, I am taking that back to, for a credit. I'm not happy with that, so that's going back. This is the whole thing when I said roulette, you never know what you're gonna get. Shinobi, great condition, happy with that. Jurassic Park, Genesis, Operation Genesis, granted the disc is in good nick. Um, to be fair, it's not the end of the world without a manual. If it even it probably did come with a manual, the type of game it is, it would have come with a manual of some description. So that's it. I'll keep hold of these three. And this one, for obvious reasons, I do not want to see that on the shelf. That is not row rash in my opinion. I want a better copy of that. So that's that's the game we're playing. We're playing CEX Russian or oh, CEX Roulette. Okay guys, so that's this video finished. Um I will be doing another CEX roulette video shortly, probably another week and a half, 14 days, something like that, no, two weeks. Every two weeks I plan to put one out, um, obviously because 50 quid a pop is not, uh, is a lot of money, and um, I'm running out of things I need to actually get for the collection, so the next video may include a box Game Boy of some description on its own, I'm not too sure yet, but so I think this is what's available at the time. And thanks for watching. Also, 
Drop a like, please, if you like what you see, this series. It shows me that you appreciate what's going on and putting the effort into the videos. And if you haven't already subbed, please press that sub button. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.